You might have seen in the news that the GBR has recorded the highest level of coral cover in 36 years. And don't get me wrong, this is good news, but some media outlets are now claiming that the reef is healthy, that climate change isn't real, and that we can't trust scientists. So let's look at the facts. First of all, the Great Barrier Reef is made of 3,000 individual reefs, and this study only went to 87. So it's hard to know if this is a representative sample of what's happening across the whole reef. Coral cover did go up in the north and central parts of the reef, but went down in the south. Number three, parts of the reef still bleached this year, despite it being a La Nina year, which brings cooler temperatures to Australia. Number four, most of the new growth are Acropora corals, which historically aren't very resilient. Yes, they grow fast, but they're also the first corals to bleach. They break easily in cyclones, and they're a favorite snack of the crown of thorns starfish, which are already wreaking havoc down in the south. All is to say that describing the health of the Great Barrier Reef using just coral cover is like describing the health of our planet by only looking at the number of trees that grew last year. It doesn't consider its biodiversity, it doesn't consider its resilience, and it doesn't consider long-term trends. So please, don't lose hope for a reef, but also don't bury your brain in the sand and gaslight scientists.